Shalom, Shalom. This your this your brother, SOW 1986. Um, just want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Kah, Yahweh Badan. Increase be a set apart name. Yahweh was with us in the wilderness, and there was no strange idol with him. Shout out to all the uh, the Torah keepers out there. May Yahweh continue to be with you. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his path. Let him return to Yahweh. So, so I will, in further in further discussion with regards to Dawit, um, with regards to the descendants of Dawit, um, in conjunction with uh, the the discussion with uh, J.C. Jesus Yeshua Yahashua whatever you want to call him. So. I, Going back with, with regards to the genealogy. Now, in my previous videos regarding why Dawah has to be the Mashiach, why does Yahweh need to bring back Dawah as the ruler, as the prince of Yasharael? Okay, and why is not and why is it can't be the, the seed of Dawah? I do, I just wanted to bring up some information regarding the genealogy, talking about Zerubbabel. Okay, so according to First Chronicles chapter three, go back. We're gonna go and look at it real quick. According to First Chronicles chapter three, one of the sons of uh, Yehoniah, okay, or Yehoiachin, right, the same person. He has uh, Sh Shealtiel, Shealtiel as the son, right, and then he has Pad Padiah, okay. According to First Chronicles chapter three, Padiah is the father of Zerubbabel. Okay, but in Haggai, in Haggai chapter one and Haggai chapter two, it repeats the following. Let's just read verse one. This is Haggai chapter one, verse one. All right. So make sure you get your pen, pencil, paper, notepad. And write down these particular verses. Go to First Chronicles chapter three, again, and remember, go back to my videos to, to the previous videos if you get a chance. When, whenever you get a chance, go to my previous videos. The first one is kind of long; it's, a, it's an hour. Uh, it just a, it's pretty it's pretty much a full breakdown comparing the the genealogy of the descendants of Darwin and the genealogy of, of J.C. or Yahweh Shah. Or Yahweh Shah. I mean, that's what, it's, that's what it really is, Yahweh Shah. Just like Joshua, the son of Nun, or Ban Nawan. So in Haggai chapter 1, and then, so First Chronicles chapter 3, right? And then, you want to go back to Matthew chapter 1 to do the comparison between the two, all right? Matthew chapter 1. The genealogy, uh, the genealogy with JC and then now you want to go to Haggai chapter 1 so Haggai chapter 1 says the following verse 1 in the second year of Darius the king this is the second Darius uh, this is the second day this is not the Darius uh, the Mede who was the general of Cyrus this is the um, the second da Darius who was actually the king of Persia in the second year of Darius the king in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of Yahweh by Haggai, the prophet, unto Zerubbabel, the son of Sheathiel, the governor of Yahweh Dah. And Yahweh Shah, the son of Yosedek, high priest, saying, okay, again, Zerubbabel, the son of Sheathiel. Now, again, we got to get a better understanding of this situation now. So, we see there's a there's a difference between Haggai chapter 1 verse 1 and 1st Chronicles chapter 3 because 1st Chronicles chapter 3 it states the following right because you have uh, the sons of Yekaniah Asur Salathiel all right his son uh, Makaram also and Pedaiah and Shelazar and Jechamiah and Hoshama and Nadabiah and the sons of Pada, Pada Yaha, Pada Aya, right? Pada Aya were Zerubbabel and Shimei. And the sons of Zerubbabel, Mashalam and Hananiah and Shalemith, their sister. And Hashubah 
and Ohel and Berakiah and Hasadiah and uh, Jush uh, Jushab, Jushab, or Jushab Chesed, five. So, again, so let's do let's do something real quick. So we know that's all right. Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel according to First Chronicles chapter three, is um, is Pada Pada Aya, not Salathia. So there's a so we have we have a, contra, a we have some contradictions here. We have something is wrong here, obviously. Something is very wrong here. And we need to get a better understanding of like, hey, who what is wrong? First Chronicles chapter three? Or Haggai? That's what we need to get a better understanding of. Because we know listen, if you hit if you didn't know, the the word has been tampered with, okay? This doesn't change the truth of Yahweh, obviously. But even still. Again, if we go back to Matthew chapter 1, with this particular discrepancy here, okay, let's just say Salathiel, let's just say Zerubbabel, right, comes from Salathiel, and not Pedaia. Let's just say that. It doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change Jeremiah chapter 22. It doesn't change what Yahweh said concerning Yachaniah. It doesn't matter if Pedaiah. It doesn't matter if Zerubbabel comes from Pedaiah. It doesn't come. It doesn't matter if he comes from Salathiel. It doesn't matter. What matters is what Yahweh said concerning Jeremiah, chapter twenty-two, or Jeremiah chapter twenty-two concerning Kaniah or Yachaniah or Yehoiachin. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. Okay? So let's say, let's go back to, again, let's say Matthew chapter 12. Uh, Matthew 1 12, right? Right. All right. So I just wanted to look at something real quick. So let's say First Chronicles chapter three is wrong because we have another witness in Nehemiah chapter Nehemiah chapter twelve one, and it says, "Now these are the priests and the Levites that went up with Zerubbabel the son of Sheathiel and Jeshua, Seraiah, Jer." Jeremiah and uh, Ezra. So that's another witness. So you got Nehemiah, Haggai, okay? Um, Ezra, and then Ezra chapter 5, verse 2. Then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Sheathiel, and Jeshua, the son of Josedek, and began to build the house of, uh, of, of, build the house of Yahweh, which is at Yerushalayim, or Jerusalem, and with them, were the prophets of Yahweh helping them? Or uh, Then uh, Ezra chapter 3, verse 2. Then stood up Yeshua, the son of Yezadak, and his brethren, the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of uh, Sheathiel, and his brethren, and built the altar of uh, altar of Elohei Yashrael to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the, in the Torah of Masha, Torah Masha. Um, I um, I think that's Ish Ishaya, uh, man of man of Allahiyam. So, so we have we have a couple of witnesses, right? We have Ezra chapter three verse two, Ezra chapter five verse two, Nehemiah chapter twelve verse one, Haggai Haggai chapter one verse one, Haggai chapter one verse twelve, Haggai chapter one verse two, uh, verse fourteen, and Haggai chapter two, right? So. So we have plenty of witnesses that says that just want to make a correction of based on what one Chronicles chapter three says versus these other these other verses. So with that said, we have to take we have to take it where 
Yekaniah, all right, Yekaniah begot Salathiel, and Zerubbabel comes from Salathiel, and that Pedaiah, okay? According to the according to the according to the references, according to the evidence that we have in front of us, okay. Nevertheless, it doesn't change chapter twenty-two, Jeremiah. Nevertheless, it doesn't change the fact that there's no such there's who is this person Abiud, and there's no Eliakim, and even still, again, even still, even if this is correct, let's say let's say it matches. Uh. First Chronicles chapter three. Let's say it does match. They both match up together. We go back to Yekoniah. The fact that they're using Yekoniah, right? This person here, whatever children he begot doesn't matter. Why? Because Jeremiah chapter twenty-two. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter twenty-two again, and be able to look at this. Okay, go back to Kaniah. Kaniah's seed was cut off. He was rendered childless. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 28. I'm going to read it in the, uh, I'm going to go to the stones, and I'm going to go to the Koran. But I'm going to first start with the Koran real quick. I'm going to Jeremiah chapter 22, and I'm going to read it. You can, you know, read read from the King James. You can read it from the KJV, the stones, uh, Koran. You can read it in the Yahweh the Yah. It don't matter where you read it from. Whatever you read it from is going to say the same thing. Let's go to, uh, I'm at verse 24 in the Quran. It says, as I live, says Yahweh, though Kanayaha, the son of Yehoiakim, Yehoiakim, king of Yahweh, were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I tear thee off, and I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest. Even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, and into the hand of the Kasadim, Kasadim, and I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bore thee into another country where you were not born, and there shall you die. But to the land to which they desire to return, to it shall they not return. Verse twenty-eight: Is this man Kanyaha, Kanyaha, a despised? Broken vessel, an object that do not, object that no one cares for. Why are they cast out? He and his seed, and banished to a land which they know not. O oh, land, land, land! Hear the word of Yahweh. Thus says Yahweh: Write this man childless. Write this man childless. That's what it says in the Yahweh the Yah. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna go to Yahweh the Yah. This is um. Uh, so you'd be able to see, so, right? Oh, earth, 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 right? Oh, earth, 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 or land, 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 eras, 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 right? So let's go to the, you know, so you'll be able to see what I'm, what I'm going to be reading. Let me go back, go down 29. So, so, yeah, so let me read it real quick. Let me just read it real quick. Right, verse 28. I mean, sorry, verse 29. Excuse me. Oh, Salaki. Eras, eras, eras. Right? Eras, eras, eras. Shama'e, Shama'e, Dabar, Yahweh. Right? Right here, right here. Shama'e, Dabar, Yahweh. Hear the word of Yahweh. Hear the matter of Yahweh. Ka Emar, Yahweh. Ka Tabar, Eth, Haesh, Hazah, Right, we talked about this. We talked about this in the past in the previous videos regarding to regarding the descendants of Dawit, regarding Yekaniah. Right, right, this man childless, destitute. Right, Gabar le Yasalah, Gabar, right, valiant man, a warrior, a person simply. Right, Gabar le Yasalah, right, to push forward. Haes Haza, Are Are Gabarle, Yasalach, Bayamaya, Kele, Yasalach, Mazara, Mazarao, Aish, right? Right? In the day, right? In the, in the days, right? 
right? Right, this man challenges a man that shall not prosper in his days, right? By your mom. When, so right in his days, right, this man, this, this warrior, Yasalak, he shall not prosper, Yasalak, not push forward, right? Yasalak, in his days, for lay Yasalak Mazara'a from his seed, no one, no, no success, no pushing forward from his seed, H. Yashab, or to sit upon the throne, Kasei, Kasei Dawad Wamashal, and to rule Awad anymore, right? Anymore, right? Upon the throne, upon the throne of Yahawadah, right? So I'm going to read it again. Let me just read it again. Ka Emar Yahawah Kataba. Kataba eighth. Eight Haish, right? Right this man. Kataba, right? Right this man. Kataba. Right? Kataba eight Haish Haza. The man this. Haish Haza Are Are. Destitute. This, right? Gabar Leya Salah. There's no man, there's no no warrior, right? No valiant man, Gabarale Yasalak shall push forward. All right, or prosper in the in his days. Bayamaya K K for no no pushing forward, Yasalak Mazara of his seed, from his seed, a man that sit upon the throne. Kasei Dawada wa Mashal Awada by Yahawada anymore upon the throne of upon the throne of Dawah and ruling anymore in Yahawada. Okay. So it's talking uh, talking about the seed. It's talking about the seed of uh, him and that no one shall rule on the throne of Dawah. That, that shall not push forward. They shall not prosper. Okay. And when it says Aras, Aras, Aras in that particular land, right? Right? In Yahawadah. And where did they rule from? Yadarashalom, right? In Yahawadah. So they would not be able to rule or be able to push forward or be successful in that land. So it doesn't. Eat. So again, Yachaniah, Yachaniah, this per Yachaniah is the man, right? That's what it comes down to. It comes down to that, that guy. Yakaniah, and because he was rendered childless, Arere, because he was rendered childless, none of his seed shall ever be able to rule on the throne of Dawa. So, in spite of First Chronicles chapter three, okay, First Chronicles chapter three, we're gonna say it doesn't match with the evidence that we have regarding Ezra, regarding. Haggai, right? Excuse me. So this is only because because First Chronicles chapter three is only one witness. Is in, it's, it's in that book. There's no there's no other evidence that says that Pedaiah is the Pedaiah is the father of Zerubbabel. It just says Selethiel is the is the father of Zerubbabel. So we're gonna go with that. Even still, Selethiel. Zerubbabel and any of anyone that comes from Zerubbabel, they are they are not legitimate to rule on the throne of Dawid. Remember, Zerubbabel was the governor. Okay, he was the governor, but he was not. He did not rule on the throne of Dawid. There was no more throne of Dawid anymore. When they returned back, when they return, when they return to Yahawadah, right after the after being released by King Cyrus, right? There was no more throne of Dawa. The throne of Dawa was done away with. But in order for Yahweh to be able to bring back, you know, to not lie unto Dawa, as it said in Psalm chapter 89, go back to Psalm 89, that's another scripture you need to look at. He would not lie to Dawa. He has to bring back Dawa in order to build that branch, in order to have that branch that is talking about in Jeremiah chapter 23. Verse, verse 5 through 8, 
you know, your, our, our righteousness, in order to be able to bring that back, in order to be actually to cause a man to rule on the throne of Darwin, he has to bring back Darwin first. He has to bring him back first because all the seed of Darwin was cut off from ruling. Remember, Zedekiah, his seed was cut off. Kaniah. Kaniah was cut off from being king. Him and his seed. He was rendered again. Are, are, childless. Destitute. So that's all I wanted to be able to say to make that particular correction. You know, it says in First Chronicles chapter 3 that Pedaiah is the father of Zerubbabel, but in other references within the thought within the Tanakh, within the history, within within the book of Ezra, within Haggai, it says something different. It says Salathiel. All right. And Matthew chapter one states Salathiel is the fa is the father of Zerubbabel. And so that matches with that. So we're fine with that. Even still, Yeconiah is cut off from being king, ruler. He shall not prosper in his days, neither shall his seed. So they was cut off as well as Zedekiah and his seed. And with that, I just want to say shalom. Uh, uh, I, I look forward to any comments that you have concerning this information. Uh, if you have if you have any disagreements, please you know please uh, ask your questions. I'm willing to ask any particular questions. I'm willing to answer answer any questions that you have. I I can't promise you that I, I have all the answers. I'm just going according to what the Torah says. I'm just going according to what the Tanakh says. That's all I can really do. You know what I'm saying? And may, and then Yahweh gives me, directs me by his, by his rawak, where he wants me to go and what he wants me to answer concerning this information. And with that, I just say, uh, Shalom, Shalom, all praise to Yahweh Kha. Uh, may Yahweh increase you and uh, uh, keep your studies up. Uh, and until we meet again, Shalom.